Hello guys, Hyperdrive MTG here. I'm your host Austin. Today I'm going to demonstrate how my Gehalta deck works. This is your hand. That's how the deck works. Hyperdrive MTG. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Hyperdrive MTG here. I'm your host Austin, and today. I'm going to be teaching you guys how to build Turbo Gehalta as your commander in EDH right now. Let's get right into it. First, let's discuss the commander, Gehalta Stampede Tyrant. Gehalta Stampede Tyrant is an 8 mana, triple green, 5 colorless, legendary creature, elder dinosaur with trample 1212 that reads, When Gehalta Stampede Tyrant enters the battlefield, put any number of creature cards from your hand onto the battlefield. This is a big, splashy green creature that does a really insane effect, and not only is really good in reanimator decks, but also can be made a really awesome and big, splashy commander for getting a lot of big, scary creatures onto the battlefield really soon, probably as early as turn 2 or 3 if built correctly. In this deck tag, I will be going over the most efficient and best way to build this commander so that you can get it out in the early turns and also be able to make the best use of its ETB in a game of Magic the Gathering. You need three things to make this deck optimal. Number one, you need to be able to play your commander quickly and efficiently. Two, you need to be able to have a lot of creatures in hand when you play your commander. And three, you need to be able to give your creatures a way to attack really easily, like haste or something like that, in order to end the game quickly enough so that you can close out the game. It should also be noted there's some additional steps you'll need to take too. You'll need to run certain cards that give you a lot of burst card draw, that allowing you to refill your hand after you play Gehalta, and also cards that allow you to bounce Gehalta back to your hand, and other cards that have ETBs back to your hand in order to make the maximum use of all your ETBs in your deck, and the most use out of your commander in case you burn out. Probably the best card for resetting your commander's ETB will be Conjurer's Closet. This card allows you to reset your commander's ETB every turn if you can refill your hand. When Gehalta's trigger resolves, Sandstorm Oracle is going to be your best way of refilling your hand automatically, but if you set up before, you can use Greater Good to get a lot of value off of Gehalta if you have your combo set up. Essentially, you just sacrifice Gehalta, either play it again or bounce it back to your hand somehow, and then just continuously play cards from your deck from your hand by replaying Gehalta. As a side note, you will probably play other creatures besides Gehalta off of Gehalta's trigger, so you'll have plenty of sack fodder for greater good in order to draw more cards. This is going to be really easy to combo with most of our deck because we have beefy and scary creatures that can be sacked to greater good to get more draw. Some other easy ways to get cards in your hand early are Sylvan Library. Shared Summons and Threats Undetected are great. And this is the only deck that you can happily play Weird Harvest and not worry too much about the drawbacks. The big reason why we don't really worry too much about Weird Harvest's drawback is because we have a lot of creatures that deal with the threats that people will play. Things like Duplicant and Kogla the Titan Ape are cards that are really good at removing threats that are problematic for us when we get drawbacks from Weird Harvest. As well as cards like Meteor Golem which have ETB destroy non-land permanent effects. And probably the best and most fantastic of all is of course Apex Altasaur, which essentially lets us wipe the opponent's board. Haste is not common in green, but we run all of it. Concurrent Crossroads is the iconic one, Acronis Memorial is a game-ending card, and Ciroc, Hunt Collar, and Crashing Drawbridge together allow you to give a full swing of haste to your entire board once you resolve a Gehalta trigger if they are in hand together. In terms of what I said earlier about playing your commander on turn 2 or 3, most of that is dependent upon what your budget is for your ramp options and your fast mana options. If you can't afford fast mana, there is one card I really want you to value here in this deck that you should be running. It is Vernal Bloom. Vernal Bloom allows you to get a turn 4 commander very easily when using budget ramps such as Nature's Lore and 3 Visits or Wild Growth and Utopia Sprawl which are now both reprinted and much more affordable at this point. 
Lastly, if you're having trouble with those pesky blue players, Delighted Halfling, Allosaurus Shepherd, and of course, Destiny Spinner are all amazing options for stopping counter magics to resolve your commander. Ladies and gentlemen, that's the deck. Deck list is in the description. If you have any comments or questions, leave them in the comments below. As always, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, stay hyper.